Your perspective is your reality. If you believe something to be true, it pretty much is. Let me explain. What I'm talking about is something called the Reticular Activating System, or RAS, which is a little part of our brain that's basically the filter. Because if you think about it, our eyes are taking in tons and tons of information at any given time, and we can't possibly focus on all of it. I can't possibly be looking at the camera and at the light and at the countertop and at my hands all at the same time. No, your brain has to choose what it's gonna look at. So how does it choose what it looks at? Well, basically, just based on our thoughts and our beliefs. What do I mean by this? Well, let's say your friend gets a new car and you suddenly start seeing that type of car everywhere. That's because it's on your mind. You now have that type of car in your head, so your brain starts to notice it everywhere. But what goes even deeper than just what's on the top of our mind and our thoughts are our beliefs, the deep-rooted things that we just believe to be true. So what we see in the world is actually just shaped by our beliefs. Because you're subconsciously only choosing to see part of the whole picture, and so in order to choose that part, your brain has to select that, and it's gonna select it based on your beliefs and your thoughts. If you believe the world is evil, you will see the evil in everything. If you believe you're awkward, you're gonna see all the awkward things you do, and that's only gonna reinforce your belief that you're awkward. If you believe that you're bad at public speaking, you're probably gonna do poorly on your next speech. So you must change your beliefs. Now this is tough because as I said, they're deeply ingrained in your head. But if you can question those beliefs, if you can bring them to your awareness and then question why do I believe this to be true? And then start to really break down the reasons why you believe it to be true. Then you can start to realize that maybe it's not true. And then you can shift from having a disempowering belief, for example, I'm bad at public speaking, to having an empowering belief, like, if I practice enough and put in enough effort, I can become a great public speaker. So you're not just telling yourself, oh, I'm a great public speaker, because then you're kind of almost lying to yourself. But you are telling yourself that if I put in the work, I should be able to see the results. And what this does is it will make your brain more primed to actually take you in the direction of that goal. The original belief was disempowering because it was like, oh, I'm just naturally horrible and I'm never gonna get any better. But now, this new belief of knowing that if I put in the work, I should get the results, that's empowering because it makes you want to take action in that direction. And this applies to everything. Whatever excuse you're making or whatever limiting belief you have as to why you can't overcome social anxiety, question it. Start to ask yourself, why do you believe that? And then try to make a more empowering version. Another way you can start to change what your brain notices is by setting clear goals and visualizing them. I just talked about this in the last video. Visualization is very powerful because what it does is it brings those thoughts of what you want to the top of your head, so then you start to notice them more. As I mentioned in the beginning, it's like when you have that type of car on your brain, then you're gonna start seeing that type of car everywhere you go. It's the same with this. If you make your goal to be better at socializing and you always imagine yourself becoming better at socializing, you're more likely to see reasons why you can and take steps to become more social. And these things have always been there. It's just that your RAS hasn't been primed to see them. This is how the law of attraction works. It's not some mystical woo-woo BS thing. It's true, it's just the way that your brain works. Your brain has to be primed to see certain things. And so if you see negative things, if, or sorry, if you have negative beliefs, you're gonna start to see negative things. If you have positive beliefs, you're gonna see positive things. If you believe you can overcome social anxiety, you're gonna start to overcome it. Think of it like sunglasses. There are so many different lenses through which you could see the world, and depending on which ones you have on at that moment, you'll see the world differently. For example, Put on your positivity sunglasses and you're gonna see everything as great. You're gonna be grateful for everything. Wow, I just love this. This is beautiful. Wow, what a great life. But then if you throw on your negativity glasses, then you're just gonna see the horribleness and everything. You're just gonna be like, oh my God, that's terrible. I'm horrible, I'm evil, no one likes me, blah, blah, blah. Because that's what you're thinking and you're only gonna see the things that reinforce that. In this way, reality really isn't the same for all of us. 
Technically it is, there is one objective thing happening right now, but we're all wearing slightly different lenses, so we're all seeing it slightly differently. That's why you and me could be in the same room and still see things totally differently because we just have different lenses, different perspectives through which we see the world. We could both be in the same room and I could see it as an amazing, fun time and you could see it as extremely awkward and terrifying. It's just a matter of our beliefs and what our brain is choosing to see. As a little side note, usually most awkwardness is totally self-created. You only think that a situation is awkward because you're used to either having awkward situations or thinking that they'll be awkward. So you go into something and you're like, oh my God, this is so awkward. And then you give off an awkward vibe and then it actually does become awkward. But there's actually a really good chance that the other person never even thought it was awkward to begin with. And it was just you kind of creating your own problem. I'm gonna end on a quote here by Henry Ford. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. If you believe you can do something, you're gonna see all the reasons why it's possible, all the ways that you can overcome any obstacles, and you're not gonna make any excuses. But if you don't believe you can do something, you're gonna see all the reasons why you can't, why it's just impossible, why you're just not capable or good enough. Don't make things harder on yourself than they already are by having these limiting beliefs. Trust me, if you don't believe you can overcome social anxiety, you won't because you'll always make excuses as to why not. You must believe you can do it and trust in the process and know that with enough work, taking the right steps in the right direction, that you will see results. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Now go out there and put this stuff into action and I will see you in the next video. Peace.